Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of season 2 of Goblin Slayer. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's a big ass thing. That easily. <laughs> <sighs> Should be done by five forty five. Oh, and it healed. What else is she supposed to do? Uh, mm -mm. 
Hmm. Right. Mm, both? I mean, yeah, it is a fish, but the nozzle looks like a snake. So, yeah, both. See, watching this and also having a thunderstorm also happen at the same freaking time is so not cool, but it feels like you're in the moment with them. Bruh, I can't. Freaking Florida. Ooh. Oh my god. Ready. Good choice. Yeah. Girl, uh, give me a gift and we'd be fucking. <laughs> ah! <laughs>
Now, my thing is, how did she get all the way over here without anybody else knowing or recognizing her? I mean, yeah, you have the freaking cape and everything, but so somebody would have been like, hey, yo. Can't sleep. Oh. 
I know. I have that man grab you like that. Shit. I, I can't. Weak. <laughs> The skull people, oh my god. <laughs> oh! Well, damn. Mm-hmm. You just would have burned them. Hey, beats walking. True.
That's a little weird, though. Okay, let's talk about the first couple of minutes of this episode. The fact that it was the lady, um, or what I like to call her, the High Priestess, in a group that's similar to Goblin Slayer's current group, because, I mean, the guy definitely has the same aura from the beginning, hella similar to Goblin Slayer, so hopefully we get more context of that in the next couple of episodes, because there, with her... Her past is super interesting, especially with the fact that she was in a group like that. But maybe, you know, mm, our priestess or maybe even Goblin Slayer himself will maybe possibly ask her. Because still, going into these two seasons, she is the most under... Not underrated, more mysterious character that we really don't know much about. And so hopefully... We got something. I mean, I'm just saying it would be nice. But, um, yeah, the hand on the goblin. What the fuck was that? That was a little weird, but okay. I, I mean, I get it. You got to take it with you for a reason. I thought it was creepy as well. But, like, yeah, I, I wasn't expecting it to go down like that. Mm -mm. But can we also just talk about that not only did she get jealous over farm girl talking to him. And the, our point made me freeze she gets jealous of them both like together in the middle of the night and just talking because she couldn't sleep. <laughs> uh, once again, all these girls, I get it. Because, I mean, he's fine. Once again, I mean, I've been in love with this man since season freaking one. And I get it. You know, you see your man talking to another girl, he'd be like, excuse me. But, I mean, like, they're, they're just friends. That's just friends. He ain't looking at her like that. But, you know, I mean, he, and at the same time, Goblin Slayer, is, he's, he's married to goblins. He is married to his job. Regardless, that man is not really looking for any platonic relationships, not no one night stands, nothing. That man is married to his effing job. He is like, uh-uh, y'all not getting in my way because <laughs> goblins are the only thing I care about. I'm like, bruh, oh my god, there's more to life than goblins. But I get it, because he wants to, you know, the things that he does, he wishes that he could have been <clears throat> enough as a kid in order to save his sister. So that's the biggest reason why he does everything. Every person who he saves, he instantly thinks of his sister, the one person that he wasn't able to save. And they get that. You, he has like the, the hero remorse story. He's had that since season one. And so I love the fact that no matter what, he does everything in his power to truly save everyone. Because if he doesn't, it's like a cycle, endless cycle that always repeats for himself of seeing his sister possibly die or someone. And then instead of having that person, it is his sister. And that he sees that every single time. So, you know he doesn't want to see that all the time. So I get the reason why he, he's doing what he's doing. But this is good. Other than that, guys, that is where I actually reach towards episode 9 of season 2 of Goblin Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!